All right, so we are live on YouTube, and let's make sure that a few people join us here, and we'll be starting our own very first IT security labs live stream, talking about Hack the Box, and today we're going to be talking about an active machine. This one is called... Um, Resolute. Oh, Abby, yes, I did. I think I saw your email. Yes, I, I saw I saw uh, your email and I'm still going to try to do the uh, test for you. So yes, I did see that email. All right, let's make sure that uh, a few people join here and then we can start to make sure. Tests for you. Oh, thanks, uh, Tectonic. Appreciate it. Abby, uh, the test that you sent me uh, is a little tricky. I, I have to do more research to make sure that we can test the bug without getting in trouble with. Uh, the website owners. It's a really, really interesting bug though. So we'll, we'll make sure that we take a look at it. All right, so let's look at more uh, things going on here. All right, so it looks like um, our teams are, our team is growing. We have a lot of people who joined our team last week, and I hope we were all able to complete the machine resolute. And oh, Matthew says, all right, I'll add your name uh, right now, Matthew, but um. As soon as we're done with this stream, I'm going to find everybody who adds their name to the comments and make sure that I add them to the stream and, and to our team on Hack the Box. But the idea is simple. We are trying to build a team of uh, information and security professionals who can uh, complete this Hack the Box machines. I'll uh, start from the simple machines, then we'll go to the hard machines. And those machines are for all levels, really. And if you are having a hard time, say, completing a machine, the goal is to have a team of people that you can rely on who are working on the same machine as you are. That week, uh, we're hoping to do weekly machines. Then uh, as, as long as those people are working on the same machine as you, you can then uh, hopefully ask for help. Not spoilers, but ask people like hey this is what i've done and i'm stuck and people are usually helpful they'll ask you a few questions to make sure that you know just asking for the flag our goal is to not create a team where people just get flags and rank on hack the box but we really want you to actually work on these machines and when you get stuck like this week we're working on resolute there were a few people that were stuck on a few SMB stuff and I was able to help them sort of like, hey, maybe look further in those um, folders that you're working on or maybe look at this service or maybe look at other services and they were able to get the answers. So that's what we're doing here. We are really not giving out answers. So if your goal was to uh, stop by and just get easy flags for hack the box this is probably not the group for you 
this is a group for people who want to learn and who want to uh, improve their skills so let's do this okay uh, Ruth said that uh, they just got starting point labs for new people so maybe we should look at that before we end uh, make sure that uh, those labs are actually what we start with if you're just starting out. So let's make sure we do that. I just noticed that my profile didn't have me on camera. So let's switch to that. And let me make sure that it's actually showing. All right. So now we should have a camera and me right here all right so if you didn't work on resolute last week i just want to say it's a wonderful windows machine and here's what we're looking at here is the matrix the matrix that we're looking at are is it real life i mean it's not more capture, capture the flag like so we're looking at is it real life it requires a lot of enumeration just like a lot of hack the box machines do very little for the CVE, but you need some form of custom exploitation. So that's that's good. So Root said that, um, what's going on? Oh yeah, man, thank you. Um, I think everything is going well for me right now. And um, just trying to improve on these skills on uh, offensive security skills. And that's why I'm forming this team. So I'm glad that you are part of this and you have joined us uh i hope that's not oh come on that's actually not correct admin i don't think this is a good idea for you to be doing this uh posting flags and is that even a flag can't tell but anyway uh matthew says you can't afford it um the machines that we're doing are the free ones. We're working on the free machines. So you should be able to do it. And admin, whatever you posted, I don't think that's the root password. That's the root uh, key anyway. And I need, I'm going to need a moderator for this. For people like you to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So whoever this admin person is, I don't think this is what we are up after. So if that is the key that they, they've just posted, uh, let me make sure I remove them from the chat. Give me one second. Oh, Matthew, you say the OSCP? Yeah, the OSCP is a little pricey right now. The OACP is extremely pricey and um, it's a huge commitment. The goal is that if you complete these machines with us and you end up making the commitment to take the OACP, you should feel comfortable. Or at least you should have a community of people that you can reach out to and who can help you. And that's our main goal here. So um, that's why we're doing this is so that if you end up taking the OACP, not only do you rely on the OSCP uh, other students, but you also have other people that you have be, become sort of friends in a way uh, that have the same goals as you, that you can say, hey, how do I get started with bar overflows? I can't really get it. And there is going to be a lot of really experienced people in our community that can help you make sure that uh, things can can happen. So let me remove that. So I was just responding to this question by uh, Matthew, who said that you cannot have afford um, the OSCP. That's that's okay. I think that um, at some point, as the community grows, I hope to be doing some uh, crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, and hopefully people can actually help. Because I've seen uh, people like Mubix, Rob Fuller on Twitter, he was doing a giveaway for the OSCP. That's what we're going to be doing here. Next Sunday, I'm actually going to give away a Hack the Box uh, premium, I think six months to two people. So stay, stay tuned for that for our stream on the same time. 
we'll be doing that as well. So, Geneva says, uh, Rhodesia. Okay, I know what you're saying. I'm from Zimbabwe. It's a former uh, colony of Britain and it used to be called Rhodesia. Did anyone complete this ma ma uh, machine and does anyone uh, have any questions so far about Resolute? I believe it's a wonderful machine. Yes, Root is right. You know, the good thing about the people in the InfoSec field is that they are very generous people. They are very, very uh, good people. If you say that you cannot afford something and you truly mean it, there is always going to be people out there who will be willing to jump to your aid and help you. I can start a GoFundMe today for someone who, who really needs help and for the OSCP, for example, and most likely 99%, I'm sure that the community will respond and they'll be able to get help. So yes, there's a lot of people who can even sponsor you if you really need help. The idea is you need to really need help. It's not just like you just make it up that you need, um, you cannot afford it when you can. Oh, Matthew said you, you got user. Um, Matthew, if you got user on this machine and you are stuck on getting root, uh, I suggest that you go to our YouTube, I mean our Facebook group, uh, and send me a message. If you can't do that on the Facebook group, uh, send me a message on our on my on our profile. Also post on the Facebook group. Everyone is going to join there, and I encourage that if you post there, say, don't spoil it for other people. Just say you need help getting root. And people ask you what you have done you can dm them and they'll be able to tell you the idea is to not spoil the machine for other people but you need to have owned user and you need to also have owned root during this time uh tectonic said people are always looking for talent yes if you're part of our group and we do this for say a year and we have owned what 40 machines 80 machines and a bunch of challenges you are always going to be in demand and i think that that's the whole idea is that we all grow together we all learn and we can show up to work and perform so this is awesome yeah that's that's very true technology i agree with that oh yeah uh root send me a message on the, the box that's my this here's my username here. I usually respond to most messages that I get there. Send me a message on X the box. I always respond there as well. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Sky says Hack the box is awesome. I mean, this is a wonderful platform. The fact that it's free, it's incredible. And that's why we are here. That's why we have our team, IT Security Labs. And if you join our team. Every week, we target a machine. This week, as you can see, uh, I have user and root. I had already done this machine. The goal is that every week, a group of us, we target one machine. We all have one goal. We go and attack that machine. And if you get stuck, if you need help, if you need sort of a direction, there is people who are working on the same machine as you that week. And that's the goal. And on Sundays like this, we can all meet and talk about at least the machine without spoiling it for others. Oh yeah. So here, here's something that um, Tectonic says. If you're part of our team, uh, I think that people will value the fact that you're spending your personal time doing this. So if you say I'm part of a team on Hack the Box and my team and I have been I've been part of this team for say two years and I've been hacking machines every week. I mean, it's something that you can discuss during interviews and also on your resume. So yeah, that's true. Thanks for that technology. And if you have answered, um, done the OSCPS yet, uh, 
Sky is saying that um, he is asking if anybody has done that. Please make sure to let him know or let her know. So um, if you've done it, you can be of assistance because I know some people are going for the OSCP. I'll be doing the OSCP for sure. I'm just someone who is very, very uh, interested in getting prepared. So if you're interested, let me show you what I've done here. In addition to doing other things, like uh, practicing other skills, on Hack the Box, I've done, I've owned, it says I've owned 24 machines. This is not true. I didn't know when I first started, I did a lot of retired machines. It says I owned 15 retired machines here. I've owned a lot. I have YouTube videos of machines that I owned that I didn't post here because I didn't know that I needed to submit the flags. And in fact, I didn't care at that time, but this is what I've, I've done so far. And I think that for the most part, I can go for the OSCP and pass, but I want to keep practicing and I don't need it right now. That's why I'm just very focused on getting really good at what I do, getting better every single day, and also uh, making sure that when I go for it, I have a better chance of passing. Geneva Black says, uh, try hack me is fun. Cyber Mentor does a Twitch at times. Yes, I attend uh, Cyber Mentor uh, Heath. He has live streams every single day of the week at, um, I think it's about 10 or 11 Central Standard Time for me. And I get notifications and I attend them all the time. Really great guy. He knows what he's doing. My goal is to end up having him here. So if you subscribe to him on YouTube, please reach out to him and let him know. I would love to have him on one of our live streams so he can give us some advice. I reached out to him and um, I'm hoping soon he can come. But if you're already subscribed to him, just let him know that he needs to come uh, and get interviewed at IT Security Labs. He's a great guy. I even uh, sub have his course on uh, Udemy. If you haven't tried that, it's a wonderful course. 22 hours, I think. You will learn a lot. You will actually know how to do this. Oh, Juniper said, um, let me make sure that I bring this, some of this up here. Oh yeah, I saw that machine. Um, is it this one? This machine is uh, interesting. I don't know what it will expose. So let me, let me not uh, launch it right now, but yeah. This pawn box here, I need to give this a try this week. I'm not sure what this one is, so uh, Ruth, thanks for bringing that one up. I'm not sure, and uh, I'll, I'll probably try it this week. Oh yeah, please do, please do. I, I usually pop up on his streams and uh, make sure that uh, I learn a few things from him as well. And as you can tell, unlike a lot of YouTube channels that you will see where people are experts in their fields, this channel is very unique in the fact that I myself am also learning. I, ever since I started this channel 18 months ago, I can tell you that I've learned a lot that I can share with the community. But at the same time, I don't come here and say, I know everything, I'm going to teach you everything. My approach has always been, I have something to teach, you have something that you can teach me. And if you can learn something from me, great. If, if I can learn something from you, great. And that's the whole idea of creating a community. It's not like a one-way street where I'm just sitting here saying, I know how to do pen tests. Because the truth is, no one knows it all. Even uh, people like... Heath and John Hammond would even uh, admit that you learn something from other people. That's why I like the idea of creating a community where we're all sort of learning and we all understand that there are people who know more and there are people who know less. And the whole concept is that we are learning.
yeah and that's why uh thanks Ruth. Uh, that's why i didn't click on that because i didn't want uh, to get a link so i can get um people trying to get to my machine and all that stuff so yeah so Yes, I will, I will, if you add your hack the box username here, I'm going to add uh, your, 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 your name. If you did our last week machine, which is Resolute, um, please let us know in the comments. I'm curious how many people were able to own user and root on Resolute. I actually, myself, I do keep notes of all the machines that I've owned. And let me show you what, what, what my notes look like. I showed these ones last week in a stream, but let me, let me show you where I keep my notes. So I, I have notes for almost every machine that I've done. And the way I do it, I take notes. Then when the machine goes public, I can create a video. Hopefully I have good enough notes to create a video, <laughs> but so far my notes have been, uh, not too good but here is what i use for not keeping i'm not sponsored by these people it's just a free tool that i use so these are most of the machines that i've done here i didn't get all of them so like ouch ouch really got me so i can show you this one was this machine got me, but as you can see, I have some my inmate results here. I can continue on this machine tomorrow if I wanted to. So there are some machines that got me, but most of them I got. Uh, this live stream, uh, this, this is a good question that uh, Hege Explorer asked. This live stream is supposed to be every Sunday nine to ten so just an hour every sunday nine central standard time so when you started today and our main goal is to just you know catch up i might discontinue these live streams in preference to something like um google hangouts or something similar where i can ask people to create burner like fake accounts and just join a google hangout so we can all just talk depending on how this works i also don't want us to get banned on hack the box by sharing say uh flags and all that stuff so i don't want us to get in trouble with this wonderful platform at the same time i also want us to benefit that's why i'm saying if you want to if you have done this machine just make sure to go to our facebook page post your question when you get stuck Someone who probably DM you. I've seen people who send uh, direct messages to other people. That way, I mean, they'll make sure that you have done some work. You're not just asking for a flag. And the community is very good at figuring out if you're working on it or if you're just asking people for help. The idea is we help you as long as you've done work. There's no simple, here's the flag, rank up. No, that's not gonna happen. And that's not what we are after either. Yeah, uh, Zoom, uh, a lot of people don't trust Zoom, but yes, Ma Matthew said uh, Google Meet or Zoom. I think that's a, that's a wonderful idea. I think Google Meet works better other than Zoom. Or if the, even Zoom, I just want people to create some burner accounts. Don't use your Gmail account when you join these meetings. Just create some random Google account, you know, and join the meeting. And use that account for these meetings only if you want to be extremely private and make sure that we are safe. All right. So is anyone, has anyone done any other machines? The Ouch is a very difficult machine. This is not a spoiler because this is just an enemy result. Don't get me reported. It's just enemy results and you will not get anywhere from this. Open admin, uh, someone said open admin. Let me see if I've done open admin. Actually, I 
I think I have done it. Let's go to all machines active. Is it on? Uh, looks like it was retired. Maybe not. Let's see. I did open admin, so if it is retired, that's a good machine to go through. Yes, I did this machine. I remember this very well. It was uh, really difficult for me. And this is a comment from uh, Juniper here who said, uh, open admin. Um, according to this, it doesn't really say it was uh, that hard. Maybe for our live streams to, to not get us in trouble, we can do this machine for this week. Then we can come back and talk about openly and freely without worrying about Hack the box people getting in uh and blocking our group we can do open admin it's a linux machine as you can see if it's green just like this shows that you have done it and i've done this machine it's it's a good machine i think Oh, Thunderstorm, welcome. Thank, thank you for joining us. We have people from all over the world. In our last stream, we had people from uh, Brazil, Argentina, Egypt, uh, India. I did a late stream uh, at around like 11 p.m. And there were a lot of people from other countries where right now it's midnight for them. So it's good to see you. Let's see. So since open admin is retired, let me see if I have it in here. Or is it one of the machines that I didn't document? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what my documentation look like looks like. And if Spoiler alert for open admin. This is what you're going to see. It's a retired machine. So there's no problem there But yeah, I was working on some stuff. I think this was a database interesting stuff <laughs> This was an interesting stuff. I think uh, Daniel is up to something Daniel is right uh, if we do retired machines, they do require that people have um, subscriptions if we do Active machines, people don't need subscriptions. So it's more inclusive to do active machines because not everyone can afford the 10 pounds or is it 12 US dollars a month? Even though I have it. So open admin, it was a, it was a good machine. All right, so we are at halfway through the live stream. I just want to make sure that um, we're on the same page. This is a live stream that we do because we created a team in Hack the Box, and it's called IT Security Labs. If you want to join our team, we already have a lot of members in our in our in our team. It's a team for people of all skill levels and our goal is to learn together and hopefully these weekly meetups would encourage you to keep working on your skills and getting better uh, someone says it's a really good uh, thing to put on a resume as well if you have been part of our team and you've participated for a long time chances are you can just participate every week and not get better if you participate every single week for a year you're going to be a way better security professional than if you just uh, do things on your own when you can. The idea is to just have a team, people like-minded and 
bounce ideas off or help other people if you can. Uh, Juniper Black said I had to look at write-ups to figure out Open Admin. Yeah, Open Admin was not easy. I think Open Admin helped me during the ranking process when I got the user. I think it was like the last two weeks of it. But what I can tell you though is that over the past few, say, months since January of this year, I now have a clear picture of when I go to a machine, if I get stuck, since I've done so many machines over and over again, I can at least spend three to five hours to get a user on a hard machine if I really focus and if I really take my breaks and make sure that I do it right. The one thing that I figured out is that um, it's not complicated. There is always a way in. If I get stuck, I'm either overcomplicating things or I'm looking in the wrong direction or there's something that I'm just overlooking or I'm not enumerating enough. The last part, which is enumeration, is always the key. I'm not looking through all the folders, say, in an SMB. I'm just glancing and hoping that I get the answer. I'm not looking on all the ports that were shown to me. I'm not doing enough research or I'm giving up too early. Otherwise, the methodology that I've gained from just doing so many machines, I think it applies to almost every machine. And I'm pretty sure that I could be a good pen tester in the real world if I got a job as a penetration tester. All right, so let's see. Um, does anyone have anything to add? Our machine for the week was Resolute. I'm hoping we got that machine done. Resolute was a Windows machine. If you have any uh, questions, you need any nudges, please, uh, you can co post right now in the comments here. I'll be able to say something or someone will be able to help you if you've been working on Resolute. Otherwise, um, we'll, we'll be picking another machine for next week from here. So this one, as far as this team is concerned, you should have this in the box. It's a Windows machine. For me, I have done almost, let me see. I've done almost all Windows machines here because I like Windows machines. I haven't done all machines. All right, Root, you're upgrading the box right now. Oh, that's good. What is the box? Can you can you let us know? You said, uh, Root said he's upgrading the box right now. Uh, let, just let us know which, which box you're, you're talking about that you are upgrading. Is it uh, open admin? All right. So since nobody so far has uh, posted any other questions and the team is doing great, Post your hack the box um, profile ID. In this case, if you were me, you'll be posting this top part right here. I'll add you to the team and it's up to you. You can choose to not complete weekly challenges, but at the end of the day, um, we will try to proceed and complete these challenges. And if we do this for five straight years, anyone who joined within the first year or two are going to be really good at what they do if they put the time in. And that's the idea. We only want people who are dedicated to learning, people who want to learn, people who want this to be the career that they want to be. If you're just guessing and wishy-washy, it might not be a good fit for you because it takes a lot of effort to crack these machines. So this is only for those people who want to be good at what they do and who want to be better and who want to learn from others. Awesome. Uh, let me add you right now, uh, Matthew. I think I can do that right now. All 
I'm using the other screen because last time I figured that this tends to um, show my email address when I do this. I don't know why. But it likes to show my email address when I'm adding people. These invites actually take a little bit. So if you don't see it right away, just wait maybe an hour or so. If you don't get a notification, here's an idea. Go to your name, go to your settings, and the invite will be sitting there. So if you have been invited, but you didn't get it, make sure that um, you go to your settings here and your invite will be there. Actually, Matthew, I invited you last time. Go to your settings right now. You should you should see the invite there. You're one of the people with a pending invite. So make sure that uh, you go to your settings, Matthew. All right. Anything else that we can uh, cover today before we end this stream? We are 40 minutes in. And we've covered a lot. We need to decide. Um, yeah. So I do have a few people that were invited last time. Let me see if they are here. All right. If you, if you were invited last time, go to your settings. I figured out that if you go to your settings here, you have your invite. Then you can join. Let's decide on which machine we can cover this week. All right, uh, Soldier 200. X. All right, I just send you the invite. Go to your settings. And look for that invite. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the helpful uh, route. Let me add that one in here so everybody can see. That's a good one to know. I haven't tried this pawn box and I'm going to try it. That's an awesome, that's a good idea. All right, I got a, someone who wants an invite. Let me send that invite right now before we decide on the next machine. Um, Daniel said Nest should be next one. Nest. The only disadvantage for me is that I told you, I think I have done most of these Windows machines. So I do have Nest here, and let's look if I have notes for it. Yeah, I I did nest, but I'm not opposed. We can do nest next week and next week for the for the whole team. All right, if you want an invite, please uh, post your username. Um, you know, Harry, uh, post your username so we can do it. Next week, does anyone oppose that we uh, attack nest? I want to make sure that everybody can get a chance. So this is a, another Windows machine. I've done most of them. And next, Nest is a fairly easy machine, I would say. And when you do all the Windows machines, you're going to see that uh, if they are, say, Kerberos, it's the same ideas. There's the same tools that you use for Windows. It's the same idea of getting into SMBs. It's the same idea of um, looking for vulnerable applications and it's actually extremely fun. <laughs> That's why I was able to complete all the Windows machines because once I started with one, I did the second one, then the third one, I was like, wow, I'm seeing a pattern. If I cannot see any SMB issues, if I cannot see a vulnerable application, there's, for Windows, at least I think there's very few things, unless if it's a known vulnerability in an application or something. Uh, L... 
All right, let me let me add you. Also, if somebody um, is part of our team and has been helpful to you, I learned that you can uh, show them some respect here. I don't know what that does on Hack the Box, but if someone is very helpful to you, just uh, show them some respect. Go to their profile, and I think you say show respect. So, Hisham, I'm going to add you right now, and also El Hari, I'm also going to add you as well. So we can all be there. So far, it looks like Nest is our next machine. If anyone uh, objects to that, please let us know. And this user that makes these machines, VB Scrub, is awesome. All the machines that I've done from this person, I don't know who they are, but whatever machines they make, they are very, very beneficial. You, you feel like you're learning something compared to just doing a capture the flag. That's why I really like the, them. So make sure you, you do this machine. All right, let me add a, a few people here. Okay, El Hari, if you're looking right now, go to your name in Hack the Box, Settings. You should see an invite there right now. You have an invite there. Let me know if you cannot see it, but go to your Settings. You need to go to your Settings. It doesn't notify you when, when somebody invites you. <laughs> Root is not helpful. That's that's okay. Uh, let's see. S K S two seven eight eight. There you are. All right. So the invite has been sent for Hisham and also El Harry. You you got an invite last time. When I say I sent you an invite, go to your name, click your settings. There you should see that somebody invited you to a group. Yes, uh, so here's what I did. Hisham is right. Uh, let me. He says that he remembers that I followed all the hack the box machines. Let me show you the list right now, so we can, uh, so so I can tell you which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. All right, so I created a hack the box series on my channel, and. The machines that I've done, I did most of these right here. It looks like they added more. You see the font changes from here, from 24 going down. I didn't do most of that, but most of these are 23 going up. I completed them. I didn't create a video for each and every single one of them, but I created, I completed all of these except for, no, I, I, I completed all of these right here. Then for the windows, I completed all of these. I created a video for this, 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 this. Silo. Yeah, so I created videos for all these 17 going up. I haven't done bank robber and sec notes. These look like newer machines that they edit. Then, of course, I did some of the ones on here, like active. So I've done um, most of these machines on this list, and they are all retired machines. So um, most of them are retired machines, so you need a hack the box subscriptions to, subscription to do them. And I can tell you that I got really, really good at attacking machines after doing a lot of these machines. Because there's so many things you can, so many ways you can uh, approach a machine, right? When you do more than 40 machines, it just becomes the same methodology, just different vulnerabilities that you're looking at. Some way, somehow, something is hidden, and you kind of know what looks normal and what doesn't look normal. Especially in Windows, it's very clear. In Linux, you kind of know the file structure, what sort of file structure looks normal and what doesn't. And that comes with just doing as many as you can. And if you join us and we do these every week, after a few weeks, you begin to realize, wow, actually, I know that... <laughs> 
slash opt is in normal directory next time you see slash hack you know maybe it's a something that somebody created <laughs> All right, so uh, our new box for this week is Nest. Our goal is that uh, as a team, we can all get these machines done. So our current active box is Nest. And uh, as you can see, for me, since I'm already done with it, I'll be here to help those who are working on it and make sure that they succeed. In addition to that, I'm going to spend most of my time um, completing a few challenges. Uh, specifically in this stego and crypto that's what i'm interested in but i'm committed to making sure that the team uh gets this active machine done and you just have to work as hard as you can and if you need resources there's a lot of people who are willing to help you and if you are so lost and you don't think you know where to start people can always point you in the right direction like someone mentioned earlier that you need to uh, maybe start with uh, the Cyber Mentors course, uh, Heath Adams. He has a wonderful course for 10 bucks on Udemy. You can take the course uh, and be done with it. If you cannot afford the course, let me know. I'll get the course for you. And you, as long as you complete it, you'll be good. It's 20 bucks or 10 bucks. I think I can afford uh, 10 bucks to make sure that somebody gets that kind of education if they need it. All right, so since we have all been here and hanging out for almost an hour, I think uh, we can conclude that by the end of this week, next Sunday, we should all have Nest in our bags. You should have these green boxes checked. You have own user and your own root. If you don't, or if you get stuck as you work on these machines, post pu publicly in our um, IT Security Labs uh, Facebook group, We'll be able to help you otherwise uh go and find other members in our group and message them, them directly on hack the box they might also be able to get back to you that way you have people who are working on the same machine as you every single week so make sure to do that and after next week we can decide another machine if you can do a machine every single week i think your skill level is going to go up and you're going to learn a lot Uh, SKS say that what course is that? Uh, the course that I'm referencing um, is by Heath Adams, uh, the Cyber Mentor. He has a 22 hour course. Let me sign into my Udemy and show you. It's a wonderful course. I highly suggest that you take it. If you're just starting out and you don't know where to start, that, that's a good place to get started. You can you can commit to. All right, good good night, Ruth. Let's go to my courses. And um, th this course was free a few weeks ago. And some people who were part of um, IT Security Labs were able to get it for free. But let me show you what this course looks like. Come on, I'm not going to sign in. It's called Practical Ethical Hacking Complete Course.
Okay. Root is still here, guys. We need. We all need that root password. Root, that was not a real uh, pin you posted. All right. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with it, with Heath. I haven't spoken to him in a long time, and he's not going to give me any kickback of this. I just believe that this is really good content. If I were making a course, I would make something that looks close to this. So it's an ethical hacking course. As you can see, I have it. <laughs> but if someone else wants this course and they really can't afford it, I wouldn't be <laughs> opposed to getting it for them. He has 12,998 ratings and he has almost 4.99 so i mean it, sometimes things speak for themselves if if it's crap people will not buy it people will say something about it if it's good people will say good things about it that's the whole idea right if you make good content people will follow you if you don't people will notice so that's that's the course so if you are new highly suggest that you take this course i teach a similar course uh somewhere uh, at a university and they have pretty much something similar to this where they teach you the basics of networking programming web security um, cloud security um, you know linux basics and windows basics and all that stuff so it's the same stuff that you would pay ten thousand dollars for a cyber security boot camp somewhere where you can spend eleven dollars here so that's why i think this is great all right. All right. So we are reaching the end of our time. And if you have any questions, anything to add, please do so in the next few minutes. Otherwise, we can all go back and start hacking Nest. Get root. And we can come back and work as a team. I want us to be a team and also make sure that we can uh, do our investigations. Oh yeah, thank you, Root, for saying that. Um, Root, yeah, networking is definitely something that a lot of people, uh, regardless of where they want to be in information security, have to understand a little bit of. You kind of have to know the basics of networking, whether you're just doing web application pen testing or something. So yes, I'm still uh, in the process of thinking about uh, making a course, and when I make a course. I wanted to make sure that it's really good. Right now I'm teaching uh, for other people. And the idea is I wanted to see how they structure the content. The people that I'm uh, I'm teaching are learning a lot. And I'm hoping that uh, the same value that I'm providing for them is what I'll bring to uh, people who buy my course, say, in a few months or a year from now. So yes, I really want to make sure that I make a quality course, not just something that I string together. And I will make a course on this channel. You will see that I'll be uh, referencing, referring people to my courses. And uh, when I make a course, I will make sure that if you cannot afford my course, if you tell me that you cannot afford my course, I'll give it to you for free. But for those who can, buy me coffee, feed my dog, I have a poodle here that needs some food maybe you can help me feed my dog but otherwise uh, if you cannot afford my course when i make it sure i'll give it to you it's fine yeah so root if you have ideas i'm not opposed to um, a collaboration where i cover the networking part somebody covers other parts and we can have multiple people and we can all just put a course together because if I covered the networking part myself, it will probably take me a shorter period of time. And if you cover something, it will take a shorter period of time. If we have five people cover different topics, string the course together, the course might be even be way cheaper than uh, most of these things. <laughs> yeah, th th thank you all for, uh, for your support. I appreciate it. I will start making sure that uh, I work on my courses and the idea is to end up uh, getting really good at what we do. And there's nothing more rewarding to, than spending time and doing what you have to do to get the skill set that you need. 
there's a lot of people who want shortcuts and unfortunately in the infosec world it's not a thing you're not going to just get good at things you're not just going to get a pen testing job because you spent a week studying you're going to need to want to do it you're going to have the need to have the desire you're going to need to breathe and live it and in fact participating in this group is one of those things where you participate in this group you listen to the podcast you you know you do what you have to do to get good at what you want to be but if you are not into it you realize that you don't make it part of your habits So yeah, I, I, I listen to a lot of courses. Uh, Daniel Misla uh, has a podcast that I listen to. Uh, there's a bunch of other podcasts that I listen to and I'm walking my dog and all that good stuff. So making sure that you are constantly immersed and you keep track of what's going on is awesome. <laughs> Ruth says the only shortcut is sleep. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, stopping by today. Let me... Let me see. We had, we had a lot of people stop by our live stream more than we expected. And if you haven't, please let me know so I can add you to our group. Otherwise, I think that this is going to end our live stream. It's just going to be an hour. Next week, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Otherwise, work on Nest. If you get stuck, go to our Facebook page, host a question, uh, as cryptic as you can, people who have completed the machine will be able to jump in and help you. Uh, you're not alone when you do this thing. So if you feel stuck, just let us know. No question is too stupid. We just want to make sure that at least you get the practice and experience that you need through these hands-on labs that we can get for free. Okay, before I go on, I wanted to answer this one. <laughs> they had a so far... Um, I think it's a tie between the CCNP, Cisco Certified Network Security Professional, and the CISSP. CISSP was harder because it was a lot of memorization. I don't do memorization. I hate memorizing things. I like to know how things work. I don't want to memorize things. So CISSP was mostly memorizing things, remembering things, remembering a ton of things. Whereas uh, CCNP was hands-on, at least I was configuring routers and switches. So the hands-on type is easier. So yeah, the CISSP will be the hardest, not because of what I gained from it, but because of what I had to do to pass it. But the most valuable one was the C C C CCNP. CISSP is there just to check the boxes. I gained a lot of basic knowledge there. I gained a lot of hands-on networking skills through getting my CCNP. I, I think this is a good uh, ending right here uh, from Root. Let's own Nest, guys. This is a machine. Next time we show up, we need to have user done, Root done, and we need to make sure that we learn something from this machine. And hopefully one day we can uh, all meet up in person. I could be in your city and you can take me around and show me the cool places. So, otherwise, um, if you have any questions, show up to our Facebook group. I'll also post our Discord in the description when you are done. That way, if you don't want to go to Facebook, go to Discord, and we can uh, still work on the machines. Otherwise, have a wonderful one.